Here we go. We have seen dogs that obey their masters faithfully, cats that play with bells, cockatoos that whistle the songs of their favorite TV show. But a trained spider? Yes, a jumping spider was trained to measure its performance on each jump, a scientific achievement that has marked the future of micro-robotics. Are you ready to meet her? Meet Kim, the first trained jumping spider. The best of the quartet. Our small and hairy Kim was a part of a group of four female regal jumping spiders who researchers from the University of Manchester tried to train. The only one who learned to jump between platforms to higher or lower levels was Kim. She wasn't going to miss the opportunity to show off in front of the high-speed cameras that the scientists placed meticulously in order not to miss any detail. Kim's speed, landing positions, leg angles, and body, along with the length of her jumps, were recorded. Then, they calculated the amount of energy Kim spent on each jump. When studying Kim, scientists hope to get a better understanding of how jumping spiders use their body to jump depending on the height, distance, and direction of their targets. In total, Kim performed 15 jumping tasks with great mastery in a structure with two mobile platforms that could be fixed at different levels and distances. In addition, it implemented different strategies depending on where it had to jump. It adjusted the position of its legs according to the distance of the objectives, used lower angle jumps to travel shorter distances, and more pronounced jumps for longer distances. The short-range horizontal jumps forced Kim to spend more energy, but minimized the amount of time it was in the air, so this maneuver probably increased its chances of taking over its prey. According to the study, horizontal long-distance jumps to a higher or lower platform forced it to use less energy. It is known that large jumps require spiders to use muscles and hydraulic pressure, which is when the mechanisms in their bodies send blood to their extremities fast. But the scientists noticed that only the muscles of Kim's legs provided enough force for their extraordinary jumps without requiring hydraulic pressure for momentum in its rapid takeoffs. The most incredible thing is that this intelligent and skillful spider wove safety ropes that stuck to each platform before launching. Safety first! The Chosen Ones Surely you'll ask, why did they use spiders? The regal jumping spiders can jump up to six times more than the length of their own body, while the most humans can jump is only one and a half times the size of our body. The regal jumping spider can measure up to about 0.7 inches long. It is part of a group known for using fast jumps and long distance to catch their prey or make quick moves to avoid their enemies. It is a large species of spider that inhabits the east of North America and is not poisonous to men. Its bite could cause allergies, but never death. They only bite when they feel that their life is in danger. It is a particularly intelligent spider. If you don't have flies to feed it, some have no problem eating the dangerous black widows despite their poison. Very convenient! Dr. Mostafa Nabawi, leader of the investigation featuring Kim, stressed that the force of the takeoff that these spiders have in the legs is enough to support up to five times their weight. This means that Kim could jump almost as hard with all her sisters on her back. Amazing! The future began with Kim. All the information that the research team gathered during their study with Kim was presented in the report Spiders Attack – The Rise of Bio-Inspired Micro-Robots at the Manchester's Industry 4.0 Summit in March 2018. This is the most detailed study of the jump of these spiders to date. Right now, the research team is using this biochemical data to model robots that perform with Kim's abilities and have already begun to develop robotic prototypes that can imitate their movements and jump several inches. Dr. Nabawi believes that by perfecting these prototypes, they can become useful for engineering and perform different missions. It seems that soon we will have Kim-inspired prototypes out there doing espionage or performing missions for national security. The research and background of this revolutionary scientist are related to aerodynamics, aircraft design, and engineering systems modeling. But now he is using this experience with flying and bio-inspired diving technologies, including flying robotic bees. Yes, 
Along with the investigation with Kim, an investigation was also made for the development of swarms of robot bees. These micro-robots could be the robotics revolution that heads the next generation in technology. Imagine it, jumping robot spiders and swarms of robotic bees. They sound like the characters in the next sci-fi movie, but researchers at the Manchester University are already working on these types of projects and aim to lead the world of micro-robotics. If the current trend in the decline of the bee population continues, swarms of robot bees that pollinate crops and flowers could become a reality. If you dream about a future full of insects or robot arachnids, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You'll be notified with the best content every week. See you in the next edition of TrendMax.